don't normally do these kind of videos, you know, pick up or haul videos. Hey, look at what I bought type of thing. But I thought with this, it'd be kind of cool to share a couple places that I think are neat. One is a physical store that's in Southern California. I have some pictures that I took while I was in there. And another one's from a website, a very small shop. Figured, hey, you know, share this with you guys and, you know, kind of give you some information on a couple places you may want to take a look at, right? So the first one, the physical store is uh, called Lost Levels. They have a couple locations in California. I went to the one in Claremont, which I grew up like pretty much down the street from there. Uh, they also have one in Fullerton, California. They used to have another store in Diamond Bar called Super Video Game Bros. And I've been going to these places for a long time, but I've never been to the store in Claremont. So I wanted to go check it out. It's kind of cool. They have like an arcade and then they have a retro game shop. At least the one in Fullerton did. I've been there a couple times. The one in Claremont, I believe they have an arcade as well, but it was closed off, which was like down below. Very beautiful part of the city. Uh, but they have a lot of retro stuff, a bunch of uh, new stuff, collectibles. Got a little bit of everything. I went there with my family and wound up not really getting too much for myself. But you know what? Let's take a quick look. I think uh, in this bag, I had a couple bags from this place. I might have like one thing in here for myself. Oh, I did get a couple games. Neither of them were games that I wanted. Like, I didn't pick these up for myself. Uh, Little Nightmares, 40 bucks. That's, you know, what it goes for. So not, not much of a deal there. And then uh, Little Dragon's Cafe, 25 bucks. I think that might have been a pretty good deal. As I tried looking this up for the PS4, and I couldn't find too much in the way of pricing. But what I did see was definitely, like, higher than that. Oh, my wife wanted this game. I think she just saw it and thought it looked cute or something. I don't know. We'll we'll check it out at some point. My kids wanted this. They've been hearing a lot of people talking about it. So you know what? Little nightmares it is, right? So those are a couple uh, new games we bought there. Like I said, they have new stuff as well, um, you know, for current generation and then tons of old stuff. Now, they had a selection of magazines. I fought with myself on this because I do collect magazines. <laughs> But very, you know, I buy them every great once in a while, but I never pay too much for them. And they had a bunch of electronic gaming monthly and uh, game pro all in like perfect, pristine condition for the most part. You know, like this has a little bit of wear on it, but they were all priced pretty damn high. This one, the uh, 1992 video game buyer's guide was 30 bucks. I mean, that's kind of nuts. I looked it up to see the pricing on this well you know i always do that bust out my phone take a look at pricing and it was pretty close to what i could have bought this online so i figured this this might make a cool video for another time it originally was five bucks holy crap um maybe look through this i'll, I'll take a look through it and see if it's uh something to make some content on but you know what let's uh quickly just kind of leaf through it i haven't even opened this yet so oh man yeah a lot of uh a lot of nostalgia here has that old smell to it. So there's a lot of uh, the best and worst of 91. Oh, yeah. We may have to go through this, right? We just may have to go through this. This this be pretty cool. I'll definitely take a look at this and see if it's worthy of uh, making another video on. So that was like one of the only things I got for myself there. Uh, it was just my kids and wife like, hey, I like this. I want that. And it's like, damn, dude. Like, all right. Uh, here's another bag. Uh, it's haul time. Uh, my wife's seen this and she had to have it. But between her and my daughter, they'll figure it out. Them all spending all the damn money. I didn't get nothing. Well, I got that magazine, but come on now. Some Animal uh, Crossing Bio World backpack bag type thing. It kind of looks cool. I mean, not for me, but, you know, for one of them. My daughter, you know, wears little backpacks like this, carries all her shit around with her phone and whatnot but pretty cool i mean they had like matching wallets and shit too but i wasn't about to spend all that money so that that was all that was in that damn bag what else did i get oh i don't even know who wanted this i i wouldn't wear this because i don't like these kind of hats i mean i love kirby i, I freaking love kirby but uh yeah i don't like the hats with the um these things i like snapbacks or flex fit hats so i don't even remember who asked for this but i was like yeah i wouldn't wear that but it's pretty dope kirby underneath I mean, I don't even know if this would fit my my big-ass head. But it, it's still a pretty dope hat. 
this was 20 bucks. That was like $50. Holy crap. Actually, I got that for less because uh, they gave me like, I forget how much off. I got like a percentage off. I don't even remember. It was from like previously buying stuff. I guess they have like a rewards plan. Oh, actually, I found one more thing I bought myself. These uh, these are kind of expensive. I don't like spending this kind of money on these. But uh, NES cartridge uh, dust covers, official ones. This was 7 bucks for four of them. I normally try to buy these if I see them for between 50 cents to a dollar. Um, but you know what? I just, I grabbed them. I was like, screw it. Yeah. So that's something else I bought myself. And then uh, this, this is pretty dope. I don't even know whose this is, but this was freaking awesome. Dry Bones Bowser. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Dry Bones Bowser. Pretty dope. This is pretty expensive too. Damn, dude. All-Star Collection. This was $40. That's freaking nuts, dude. Designed and manufactured by Sanio, Tokyo, Japan. Lil Buddy. Distributed by Lil Buddy, North America. That's expensive, but you know, it's pretty, pretty nice looking uh, <laughs> Dry Bones Bowser. This is pretty dope. I think I bought a Dry Bones, the uh, little coupling or whatever, not too long ago from like Target for like 10 bucks or something like that. It's a lot smaller than this guy, but that's still pretty awesome. I think that was, no, that wasn't it from uh, Lost Levels. We had one more thing that I I think is dope, but like I wouldn't use it. I mean, maybe I would. I have an umbrella. I have a uh, the, the Crow umbrella that I've had for a long time. It says it can't always rain or whatever. It has a quote from the movie on it. This is a Legend of Zelda freaking umbrella. Fre <laughs> Master Sword Umbrella. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. I mean, it's kind of hard to get the whole thing in, in camera. But look at that. You got the hilt and whatnot. Zelda, Velcro to, you know, wrap it all up. It was pretty cool. It was like 25 bucks. Then you got your sheath and uh, Zelda branding on it. Buckle and all that. This is 25 bucks, man. This is all stuff that I think you would buy at, like you would not buy, but like find at like GameStop and stuff like that. So they got, they got a lot of stuff like that. So pretty cool store, man. Definitely if you're in California, to check out Lost Levels. I used to go to Super Video Game Bros all the time. Uh, it was a very small shop. They always had great deals. This store, yeah, they have a lot of retro games. Some pricing is okay. Some is like, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing it. And you know, I didn't really want to, uh, you know, try to haggle with the guy because I don't think he had, you know, any power to really haggle. I'm not sure, but you could like trade stuff in and, you know, get credit and cash and whatnot. But I didn't bring anything with me. But I, I know uh, the guy that like owns the place whenever he was at the other shops, like I would haggle with them a little bit and it would work. But this store, I, I wasn't sure if you could haggle. So I didn't bother. Like everything is priced, you know, so I didn't want to. Like, hey, I'll give you this for that. It's not that kind of store, you know what I mean? Maybe if one of the owners are there, I, I don't freaking know. But that's that's the Lost Level stuff. Really, really cool. They used to have a booth in Frankensons. If you've ever been to Frankensons in California, it was in City of Industry. I'm, I think they moved to another location. A big old, like, swap meet type thing. Magic the Gathering cards, Pokemon, freaking collectibles, video games, sports memorabilia, toys every freaking thing you could think of i haven't been there in ages but they used to have a booth there that i used to go to all the time pretty cool stuff so the next place real quick that i want to talk about it's actually all my stuff that i bought for myself is a website called joypad lad now this dude i i know about him because he watches my channel and he brought it up before and he's been around you know and and it's like dude cool you got a shop so i've bought some things off of him over you know past couple years or so and recently I bought some stuff, a couple orders, so I just got everything kind of combined. But um, I got a handful of games and whatnot. And he sent, like, these buttons. Like, I didn't order these. These were, like, hey, bonus, like, buttons with some random assortment of pins. So he sent those. Like, like I said, I didn't order them. He just kind of sent them as, like, a bonus, I, I guess. Like, between the two orders, I got, like, a shit ton of them. Not really too much of a button person, but still kind of cool. Some Pokemon, Poke Your Mom, some Yoshi, Mario, Street Fighter, you know, little bonus items, whatever. And then I, I did get a pack of one-up cards. Use these all the freaking time. Use them all the time on my retro games. Fluid on one side, dry on the other, <laughs> just the way you like it. These always recommend these. Been using those for a long time. 
well, not these specific ones, but if you could see over into where like those games are, there's one up cards lying around all over the damn place. And I noticed on joypadlad.com, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check him out. He has retro stuff, newer stuff, collectibles. His store has been growing, but I did notice he has like a bunch of manuals. So on one of my orders, I did buy the SimCity manual. I love freaking looking at these manuals. One of my favorite games in the Super Nintendo. So pretty cool if you're trying to pad out a manual collection. Like, why the hell not? So I've got a handful of games. I'll just I'll just grab them as I go. Populous was very cheap. Um, this order that I'm going to point out, I only paid like $60 because he had like deals going on. Um, so that includes the one-up cards. This stuff wasn't anything. And these plus the other games I'm going to pull out. So Populous, love this game. Also one of my favorites. I love playing this game to this day. I tried streaming it before, but I think people find it boring. But this is one of those games that I absolutely love. I love Populous. And then the rest of them from that order, because um, the second order I placed from is only a couple games. I did get a few NES games. Star Tropics, the only reason I purchased this is because I already have a copy, but it was like somebody left like a cigarette on it and it burned like a hole through the plastic and I got it for a couple bucks at a convention or not a convention. I don't really go to conventions, but the arcade expo and he sold it to me in a bundle. So I, I always wanted to get a cleaner copy. So I grabbed that from, from him. Pretty nice. Uh, all the slip covers I bought from him. He had them like, you know, for sale, iron sword, wizards and warriors too. Pretty clean looking copy there. I don't know why I bought this. I think it was a couple bucks. So I was like, ah, I'll just throw it on there. NES play action football. Mylon Secret Castle. I think I bought this because I was seeing a lot of people playing this on YouTube at that time. And it's like, dude, I haven't, I haven't played this in a while. May as well get it. And then I have another NES game, but it's part of the other order. It's one that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, Shadowgate. Another game I remember playing back in the day. Picked that up for him. Uh, from him, not for him from him so all those games plus one other thing i got this uh nes what the hell is this thing the quick shot a little freaking suction cup feet patent pending made in hong kong qc passed what um i haven't used this yet it's got auto fire it's got start and select buttons there It'd be like playing top gun shooting some bitches hell yeah this whole, this whole thing, these games, the one-up cards, this controller, it was like 60 bucks. So I, I thought that was a decent deal. Last couple items I got, just because the price was right, and one of them was a game I told the guy. I was like, dude, I, 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 I've been looking for this for the NES. If you find it, let me know. Place an order. So as soon as he got it in stock, he was like, hey, I got it if you wanted to place an order. I was like, uh, okay, I'll give you my money. But one of them I got for a decent deal. I wasn't looking for it. I just threw it on because I was like, I'm not just going to order the one thing. Um, he had Mega Man X. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. And I have the Japanese versions. So I don't have the U.S. version. So screw it. You can't go wrong with this game. Even though I probably have this game on multiple collections, I probably have it like five times by now. But I wanted the original, so sue me. Mega Man 5 was the final Mega Man game I was missing for the NES. And I believe one of the most expensive ones out of the set of Mega Man 1 through 6. I really wanted this, but I wanted a decently clean copy. Um, you know, I know these games are old as fuck, but this one is pretty crispy, pretty clean, and I got it for a decent deal from him, around $80. I wasn't going to haggle on it. I wasn't going to ask for anything special. When I was looking for this, it was always closer to $100, and if you found it for less, they were tore up, looked like somebody took a shit on it. So I couldn't pass on that. I grabbed it from him. Great deal. Awesome guy. He has a lot of cool stuff. I'm always peeping on his website in case he has something I'm looking for. He has consoles, games, everything. But that's my my uh, my game pickups here. You know what I'm saying? Picked all this stuff up, but really it was just this stuff that was mine. And then the magazine and, and these. That, that was about it. Maybe I'll keep this guy. This guy's freaking dope, dude. Freaking Dry Bones Bowser. Look at that. Holy crap. Appreciate you guys. Take a look. Have a good one. Thumb butt. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.